How's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about something that's overlooked and overhyped, but hey, let's have a chat about dropshipping. Before we start, my name is Umar Khan, I'm a 21 year old real estate investor and I actually have a decent amount of experience in dropshipping. By this point I started three stores, one of them actually popped off and the other two kind of fizzled out. Made a couple of sales here and there, but again it wasn't enough money for me to continue and I just lost focus and just dropped it completely. But today I'm going to be talking about why this might be a good time for you to start dropshipping. So as many of the business people and entrepreneur know, we're in the middle of Q4 and essentially what Q4 is, they divide the years into four quarters. So Q4, pretty simple. But Q4, the cool thing about Q4 is Q4 is typically when businesses make the most money because they put all the sales they potentially put in the rest of the year into that last couple of weeks. So currently, as the time we're posting this video, it's Black Friday, come Monday, it's Cyber Monday, and then you have Boxing Week and then Boxing Day, and then obviously New Year's events. So this court is usually compact with a bunch of discounted rates on products varying from electronics to clothing to toys. So it's really a good time for someone to start an e-commerce store today, especially with the virus going on. And if you're here in Ontario, we've already in, we're back into our second lockdown in all, most of our major cities. So it's just really making people want to shop online even more than they did before. So this is probably the perfect time to jump into dropshipping. The reason why I left dropshipping was because literally this, this, if you don't know what dropshipping is, and we'll go into dropshipping in a moment, if you don't know what it is, a quick nutshell is there's a product on AliExpress for a dollar on your website, you sell for two. When the customer buys it from you for $2, you pay AliExpress $1, exchange the shipping information of where the customer lives, your customer lives, and then AliExpress deals with all that and you can get your middleman money. Now obviously that's very simple. There are other complications like you have to run ads, you have to find customers. If there's refunds, you have to deal with that. That's another whole aspect of it, but essentially it's very simple. That's kind of the main reason why I, like, I didn't like it because it's one of those things where it's just, there's no growth in dropshipping. Like you could have a certain store on product and scale it really nice to about five, six hundred dollars a day. At max, I went to about four hundred dollars a day. But the problem is, with a certain product, it's it's gonna fizzle out. It's not gonna be as hot as it once was. And then you're chasing after the next product, which is great. It's a great way to start. Do I see long-term growth in wealth? It's possible if you create a brand, right? Again, like a great brand. I recently started messing around with. Um, these face products, I don't have it here on me, but Lumen, like Lumen, you, you must have got a Lumen ad. Their little face creams, that's that's a good, that's a good brand. They're, you know, they're marketing a monthly subscription, young adults, like specifically men, on skincare, and that's like that's a great brand, a great business. It's it's something that's going to be sustainable because people are always going to need skincare, and the longer they're in the business, the more authority they have in that space, which is great. Another great brand would be like Dollar Shave Club or like. Um, balls. You guys, if you're a young man, you must have had had this ad of this new body trimmer, which doesn't nick or, or scratch. Like all these products, like those are not dropshippers. Those are actual brands. That's how you create success. But we're talking about dropshipping because this is a great time for a young entrepreneur to kind of get their their tongue wet in making money from home. The first time I made a sale, it was euphoria. It was almost like a high because you're so excited. You finally done something on your own. So this is a perfect time for you to experience that because it's tis the season to be jolly. People are ready to spend and give out gifts. So it's a perfect time to start. Now we'll jump into what dropshipping is. And I kind of gave it a rundown already, but essentially the way I'll be doing it, and I'll kind of vlog it. I'll have my regular videos and like the dropshipping videos too. I'll throw it in there if you're interested. Uh, maybe I'll put a playlist down below. But basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go on AliExpress. I'm gonna find a hot product, go to Shopify, create my website, very easy, 45 bucks a month for the Shopify. Pick probably 10 products that I think are gonna do well. And every week, research a new product to keep adding to the roster. And then from now until New Year's, I'm gonna run the, the, the dropshipping store and probably New Year's close it down just as a side hustle to make some extra cash, you know, fund the holidays, you know, maybe put some money aside for the car uh, to get a fun summer toy. But I'm like, when I was thinking about doing this last night, because the idea came to me last night, I'm like, you know, Q4 is here. You know, I work in retail, I see the hype. Uh, you know, if you work in a mall, you go to the mall, and you see how crazy it is right now. People want to spend their money. So I'm like, I could be that person delivering value. So that's essentially it. So you go to AliExpress, pick your products, go to Shopify, create your website. Both are very simple things to do. And then you get your product. I'm gonna market on Facebook because that's the platform I've used in the past. I know people are talking about using YouTube and like TikTok and whatnot. I, I'll try if I can do some research and figure out see if it works, if it's worth it, why not? But essentially, that's what we're gonna do. And the reason why I'm making this video is, again, 
Like I said earlier, this is a great time for a young entrepreneur, someone who's never done dropshipping and never done a side hustle, never done any business to get in now because it's really low cost. You can start off with a two-week trial. Just don't waste your time. Things you shouldn't waste your time on, there's things you should take your time on, but the things you shouldn't waste your time on, don't waste your time on creating the website itself. It's great. Make it look nice, simple, quick. Start off with a one product store. You don't need to go fancy. A mistake I made and I see a bunch of young like beginner entrepreneurs and dropshippers do is they'll spend all their time in the beginning in creating the logo. They spend two days on making a logo, a whole week on creating a store. And then by the time it's time to sell the product, they're already burnt out. And it's like, dude, like why? Like don't focus your time on creating the store. That's It's good to have a nice quality store. I'd rather you buy a skin, you buy a, a template, than waste your time creating your store because that's not going to make you the money. The real money is going to be in finding the right product. So spend a lot of time looking for a product and then spend a lot of time doing research on, on how you're going to market the product. And then that should be it, folks. That's where my attention is. My attention is not on the website. I'm going to create the website two hours, three hours tops. If even. I, I will only know what I'm saying two hours because I haven't made a website in about a year and a half. But two hours, three hours tops. And then gonna pick the products again spend another three to five hours i mean honestly guys you could really go in and like, skim through it but obviously you don't like prioritize your time but let's just say i put three hours there and the next other three hours is gonna be how am i gonna market the product who is gonna be my target audience what are we gonna do what's the niche the important things and then the next phase is instead of me fixating on the next product i want to first see if i can scale one product so see how the ads are running what do I got to do to change the ads? Study different ad strategies and tactics. Cross, you know, um, split test ads. That's what you want to focus your time and energy on. Because, folks, again, I'm not a, like a drop shipper, and drop shipping is not my favorite side hustle or business either. It's a great way to make money, but this is something that we all have a taste of. And that's why I'm like, okay, we're going to have the whole journey. We're going to do the, the 30 days of Vlogmas and, and post the e com content. That's going to be awesome. We're at the end of November, starting December. So follow the journey. Let's get started. And if you've never drop shipped before, you don't know, follow me and we'll go through it. There's an amazing abundance, I want to say, of videos about drop shipping and from how to create a store, how to market a product, how to find a product here on YouTube for absolutely free. So you don't need a drop shipping course to do this. So go ahead and do this with me, guys. Let's go make some money because honestly, I, I don't see why you can't make a minimum, a bare minimum thousand dollars this season. But I honestly don't see how you can't make close to 10K. And let's see how much we could take my little store from. At this point, I don't even have a name. All I know is I want to have a holiday themed store. So guys, let's get into it. Let's uh, create this place together. And you know, I want to hear your stories. If you guys are going to start drop shipping, maybe we can make a little Discord chat and kind of like share our ideas. So shoot me a DM below if you want to join the little chat. And uh, we'll get everybody who watches this video and everyone who wants to start drop shipping, a temporary thing. Uh, we'll create a little Discord or a little group chat and uh, kind of help each other out. But that's it for this video, folks. A little rundown on drop shipping, why you should do drop shipping this holiday season. And until next time, folks, I'll see you on the next one. But before we close out, my name is Umar Khan. If you enjoy content like this, I make more so content related to personal development and real estate investing. That's my niche. But hey, I always do videos on entrepreneurial related topics. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and do make sure you like the video. Until next time, folks, I'll see you on the next one. So if you enjoyed the video, folks, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I think you're going to like my last video over here. Or hey, maybe this one over here.